It was an expedition months in the planning, but with one wrong step it was over in minutes. Scott Blackford Sheely, filmed by One News plotting his ascent of White Wave just the week before he left New Zealand, now in a Nepalese hospital. The 24-year-old ice climbing instructor was near the summit when he fell nearly 100 metres, sustained a head injury and concussion and had to be airlifted to hospital. The team's world first attempt now on hold. With that in mind, you have to question the sanity of Nilu Memon. With only 30% vision, she's planning to climb the tallest peak on each of the seven continents. Yeah, a lot of people tell me I'm crazy. She hopes to show what anyone can achieve with support, enlisting as a mentor five-time coast-to-coast champion Richard Usher, who knows a lot about tough challenges. Always to expect the unexpected, I guess, it's, you know, and, and being able to deal with that rather than... Um, you know, when that does happen rather than sort of thinking, oh no, that's the end, it's just about finding solutions to, you know, to those problems. The pair have common ground in the coast to coast, Memon conquering the divide last year. She's also scaled New Zealand's Mount Aspiring and finds that thousands of metres up her philosophy on support is vital. It's really about just putting my faith and trust in the person who is supporting me. Along with her experiences, the combined experiences of the people that are helping her will uh, be really powerful. South America's Mount Aconcagua, the first peak to be attempted in January next year. Mark Hathaway, One News.